it was about 12 years old um, when I followed my, uh, my dad down to the local stables in Warrington, Terry Caldwell's near, near my home. And uh, I probably, you know, was, was into the football and it got cancelled one morning. I followed my dad down there and just really started riding at the age of 12, the quieter horses. So when I was first apprentice, um, the main ambition was to be actually a jump jockey, believe it or not, starting off with Malcolm Jefferson's and luckily I stayed light. So I was able to, to go on the flat and then uh, move to uh, Richard Fahey's and uh, the, the rest is history really. Uh, well, funnily enough, I, 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 I got him on the recommendation of um, Malcolm Jefferson. You know, he, he always had a great way, Paul. And I mean, I think when he was here, we had another apprentice here who was actually champion apprentice that year. So he was sat in the, in the back wings, just picking up the scraps, if that makes sense. And he never, ever once moaned Never ever once did he come in the office and sort of say, well, why is he riding this and I'm not? And, and that's probably why he ended up my stable jockey. I mean, I have so much to, to uh, thank Richard Fahey for. I mean, he's been there since I started. Um, you know, not only the boss, but he's been a good friend. It's been great. I don't think there's been that many partnerships that have gone so long. Obviously, I had the Sheikh Hamdam job for nearly five years. Um, and, you know, to come back after that and link up uh, the relationship once again, you know, it meant a lot to me. When Paul won the, the championship back to back, I mean, it was a huge effort. If someone said to me you were going to be champion apprentice and champion jockey twice, I'd probably have a little chuckle to myself when I was earlier, but I can safely say, you know, any, to any young person out there that if you really want something and you work hard, then it, it, it can happen. It was hard work. Um, I'm not going to lie, but I really wanted it. I think to reach the uh, 2000 winner mark is pretty special. Um, I think starting off just to ride that first winner, you think it can't get much better. So um, to get to 2000, is, um, it, it feels like a great, a great achievement. When you say it quickly, 2000 doesn't sound a lot, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's a huge achievement. Uh, and it's, it's all through dedication and, and graft, you know. I, I see jockeys riding a thousand and they're, they're mentioning that, but two thousand is a huge, huge amount of winners. I've had so many good days um, with two, coming up to two thousand winners and so many great, great winners. I've been very lucky through my career. Um, I think if some, some had to stand out, um, obviously my, my classic winner on Tagruda at, at, at Epson. But this at the moment is a one filly race and that one filly is Tagruda unbeaten and Tagruda makes it three out of three and wins the Investec Oaks. Sometimes you, you can ride all the, the group ones but some races maybe mean, mean more like winning the uh, Gold Cup on Funtel Road which was kind of one of the yard's favourite and my favourite and lovely owners so you know, I've been very, very lucky, but I think obviously to ride a classic winner, um, you know, from a lad from Warrington that hasn't had much racing background, um, there's, there's probably hope for everyone. <laughs>